when's the last time I could say I did a 3am start at work and still felt energised and wanted to go on a bike ride. Well there we go today, let's do it. This one's got some new signage. First ride I've done this since Covid. I can feel it in my legs, I tell you. Before this asbestos riddle thing in front of me becomes a thing of the past. I think we need to get a shot of this. Won't be there much longer itself. So many historic buildings here in Warrington Centre alone, we're going to have to come back and do a complete video on the architectural treats of Warrington Centre, like this for example. Anyway, the first thing I wanted to try and explore today with you was the transporter bridge that goes over the Mersey, which is something that we missed out on our Mersey walk, which we did two years ago. I believe that the only way we can see this bridge is down Slutcher's Lane, which you see in front of me. Oh yes, just on the horizon I can see the transporter bridge. Right. Which one do we use? Woo! Hey, this is where the go-karting's at. This might be a cool place to come one day. Ordnance survey map shows me that to the left of the RSPCA entrance here is a footpath down to the Mersey. Let's come off the bike and walk a minute. There's no word of a lie, I'm shattered. What state are these things? Get off. Just in the distance where you can see the train, on the right is the bridge where James, Steve and I watch the trains. But <laughs> right now I'm in the middle of nowhere. That's some of the bridge. I don't know if we'll get a clearer shot of it further on. Look, the majestic River Mersey. A bit that we never visited two years ago. Look at all the giant hogweed there. That's the toxic stuff that burns you. What a place to come adventurising. There was a signpost for it, so I'm guessing you were allowed here. So there we have it. So for anyone wanting to know how to get a view of the transporter bridge, yeah, turn left at the RSPCA, go under a dodgy little bridge, and there you go. Alright, now the bridge is literally right in front of me, but it also looks like it's a whole load of business up in front of me. Let's see how close we can get before we have to turn around, alright. That's bloody impressive, that. Wow, that is fantastic. In Witness, before they built the Jubilee Bridge, they had something just like this, just to get people across in the cars. How on earth did we miss this on our Mersey walk two years ago? Honestly. Well, even though I'm walking through, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> as long as I follow this green line, it's a public right away that brings you out near Little. I'm literally right in the middle of the Unilever factory here or something. 
positively felt like I was trespassing, but I just asked the two chaps in hard hats like mine and they said, no, it's fine. Just stick to the green line. Who'd have known? Not me. To be honest, I thought of cycling all the way to Widnes, but <laughs> I'm tired now and I'm getting hungry. So after all that excitement, I think we'll say goodbye. It was a short one, but I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. All the best. Chaps in orange, no, they're knocking the building down.